Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Bits, otherwise known as your friendly neighborhood basement dweller. Don't worry, ma'am, I am from the internet. Today we're checking out Popular Mechanics. March 1982, we have a submarine super tanker. Really? You want that under the ice? I mean, what could go wrong? What could go wrong? What possibly could go wrong? We got Ford, we got Sears. Do we have cigarettes and alcoholism? Fishing line. I feel like that's the first time I've seen fishing line being sold in here. Come on, cigarettes. No, nope. cigarettes. There we go. Alcoholism? No, hmm. And there we are, the ice flow, the giant below, huh? The hull would be 90 feet deep, 140 feet wide, and for most length, which is maybe a little more than a quarter of a mile, goes completely wild, and the deck, the oak, the oak beams, I don't know about any of that stuff, but the next page looks a little more interesting. New arcade action at home. So geez, a long time ago, there was a time when you couldn't get the arcade experience at home if you wanted to play the good games. You had to go to the arcade, and the arcades were unlike any other place. They eventually, like they were a wonderful place, but eventually they seemed to become a dingy place, and a place, a dark place where where kids would go to buy cigarettes. There's no room for an ordinary tool. I love the little, little tabletop saws and whatnot. Yeah, Jim, then just go out there. They're not even listening to him. He's the cigarette guy. He's got his own thing. He doesn't need these guys to listen to him. He's just talking to himself, actually. I love the airbrush art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems like for a time we just didn't like airbrush at all. We moved away from it. Airbrush was the art. For the 80s. You got a whammons with a little blemish, psh, a little bit of airbrush. Is that the Urkel mobile? No, you open that from the front. So the Urkel, Mo oh, for the Urkel mobile you had to open from the front in Orangeville. My dad knew a guy. Uh, <laughs> he drove a bit close to a snow pile and he got stuck in it because he couldn't get out because <laughs> the snow pile was blocking his way out and he had to call guys over in order to get him out. <laughs> We don't talk about it. Datsun, the king of vehicles. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Build your own wood piles and make a lot of money. Or at least when you be sniffing this stuff, you be thinking you will. This is, this is pornography for tech guys. Seriously. You don't get the schematics very often these days, but man, in the 60s, you could break a radio open, they'd have the schematics right inside. You can tell it's the 80s because we got the graph paper thing going on. It's not blue and glowing, but still. So that's an interesting fashion for a trunk, the way you kind of bring it in. Now, back in the day when you traveled, you brought trunks and they got busted around quite a bit. They got bumped around quite a bit. So usually at the edges, you had these, uh, you had these uh, bumper pieces, but I've never seen any unit kind of suck in at the top. And I gotta see, I don't often see white or silver lawnmowers, especially not these days. I love the 80s. You won't believe you did it, but you did. And you're probably high on the refiner. A uh, refi <laughs> refinisher. <laughs> when I met my ex-wife, she had a Reliant that had a fuse box full of pennies, just to give you an idea. And... Education, training, all of the great things could be had with national technical schools. It was cool because sometimes they'd send you things and you could build them and fix them. Ah, here we have an advertisement for a Mazda. That's a nice size. I wonder how reliable those things were. Comes with grips in any condition. Holy frick, that tire best be fake. That does not look proportional. I don't know. I could be wrong. Maybe I have too much refiner's fuel paint mix. <laughs> oh, Coleman, more good times outdoors. Arr. Representation, too. That's an interesting advertisement. For the V6, the Prowler. This looks, looks like a gentleman Hank Hill would love to drive around with and talk about propane and propane accessories. Like the Prowler, that was the name of the... Like, that's a separate thing, right? This guy's probably got grandkids by now. But let's zoom in on the tech. That's hardcore. Guys, if you've ever been operating with this kind of stuff, that's hardcore and you guys are pretty cool, I gotta say. That's something. That's something. See the world. 
I knew a guy that uh, Maritz. He was uh, he was he was from he was some kind of European sub operator. He told me some crazy things. Like sometimes they drop grenades off the side of subs or a ship of some sort to make sure no spies are trying to get aboard or something like that. Like, wow, it must be pretty rough for the hull, but apparently the hulls could handle it. Popular mechanics, what is this? Uh, apparently it's an underwater motor car that you can go looking for treasure with? It's a little bit laughable how expensive some weapons can be and how cheap just anti those weapons can be. I mean, I heard a Marine say, yeah, you get all those tanks and whatnot, but you get, you get, you get a sting, a stinger. Yeah, that's what they call them, a stinger, not a stingray. That's a cop operation thing. Yes, if you, if you, get, a, if you get a stinger, no problem. <laughs> Be a locksmith. Earn some money. That's still a good job, I'm thinking. Look, guys, another wood pile. Man, times have changed. Super knife. Machete, super knife machete, all right. Napa Auto Parts. Was that a thing off the side of the interstate? They just put a car way up on a pipe. I, I remember going down the interstate in the usa all kinds of interesting signs joe camel how's it going joe it's interesting the, the alcoholism seems to be gone i don't see one advertisement buy a bike engine even if it isn't one of ours wow that thing looks cool wow i want one that's interesting they're talking about getting a windmill that can tilt if things get too crazy that's fascinating I wonder if it would do that to spare itself. So get this, somehow, some pilots can land on the back of boats even in choppy weather. The price of a personal computer back in the day was freaking phenomenal. I'm surprised that it doesn't show you uh, what ports it has. Oh, it must be an RF modulator. Okay, that makes sense. Man, there's some technologies you just can't find anymore. That thing looks like it's got some funk. The Super Bronc got some funk. I want to try one of those. Okay, so I'm starting to think that they started pulling the alcoholism advertised somewhere in, oh, 82. I was going to say 85. Interesting. Well, we'll keep looking back and see what we got. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it from me. Nev from Nev's Tack Bets. Like and subscribe if you like this. Always appreciate it. And feel free to bust my balls in the comments because I know I'm not, uh, I'm a computer tech. There's a lot of stuff in here that uh, I am not quite so familiar with. So yeah, let's talk shop and whatnot anyways. Have a good one, folks. Talk, take care of each other, will you?